Hi, this is Christine with Digital Come Up. Today I'm going to teach you how to manage your email subscriptions with Jetpack. So to start, you should make sure that you have the Jetpack plugin installed. And to do this, you can go down in your dashboard to the plugin section and click on Add New. And you can search the plugins for Jetpack. And since I already have it installed, it shows as installed. But if you don't have it installed, go ahead and click on Install Now. And then once it installs, make sure you activate it. Then you'll see the Jetpack icon appear in your dashboard um, menu on the left. So you can go to Jetpack and Settings. And um, when you first install it, you'll be able to either bulk install a bunch of these different settings that Jetpack has, or you could do it one by one. Um, the one that manages the email subscriptions is called Subscriptions. So you could scroll down to this one. If you didn't activate it yet, you'll see a button to activate it and you can click that. Um, and then once it's activated, you can configure it. So once you click that, it will take you to this page back here, and this is in the Settings Discussion tab. So if you want to find it later, you can do it also by um, through Settings Discussion. But you can manage whether people are able to follow your blog, um, you know, after they see a post in your comment section. If they leave a comment, they can um, click this and follow the blog or follow the comment chain. So I have both of these checked and I could show you what that looks like on a post. So I can take you back to my site. And we'll take a look at this post here. And if you scroll down to the post section or to the reply section, You'll see that when you can leave a comment, you can be notified when new comments are posted or be notified when new posts are posted. Um, but another way that you can set it up so people that visit your blog can subscribe is by adding a widget somewhere on your, um, on your web page. So I have mine over here in my sidebar and I will show you how to do that as well. So you can go back to your dashboard Scroll down to your appearance and choose widgets. And you can see I have my sidebar widget option right here. And in this, I have dragged over blog subscriptions jetpack. So if you're not familiar with how to do this, it's pretty easy to add a widget. You just really drag it over and drop it in. And then once you have it, you can edit it however you like. So you can change the title. You can have the text read whatever you want it to say. The placeholder is just that empty box. Um, and I've read studies that say if this has email address in it, it's effective. It's also effective to do example at email.com so people know exactly what they're expected to enter. So you can really customize that. You can have the button say whatever you like, and then the message that people see once they do subscribe, you can edit that as well. And you also have the option to show how many other subscribers you have. So once you get all of that set up the way you like it, then it will, um, once you save it, it will appear in whichever um, widget area you choose. And I've already showed you what that looks like. Um, I like having it on all of the pages just because it's more, gives people more of a chance to sign up for the blog. So I definitely recommend adding it to your widget area and to your comment area just to try to capture as many subscribers as possible. And so once people do subscribe, they will get an email every time you make a new post. So that's a great way to keep driving traffic to your blog. Um, you know, it reminds readers that you have new content. It reminds them to check your blog. Uh, it's a great way to just get that return visitor. So thank you so much for watching. This has been a digital come up tutorial on using the Jetpack, uh, the Jetpack plugin to manage your email subscriptions.